Hey, what's up everybody? Hope everyone out there is doing well. First off, I'd like to welcome any new viewers to my channel. And if you like this video and would like to follow my journey, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell button for updates and notifications. And to those that are already subscribed, welcome back and thanks again for rocking with me. Uh, so let's get straight into this. Tomorrow is May 25th and that'll be my one month, two weeks. Um, but today on the 24th, my wife got off from work, so we decided to go ahead and do my wash and retwist a day early. And I'm happy to report back that my hair has started budding. Um, just on a couple of locks, not very many of them, but still slow progress is still progress. So during the shampoo, we stopped to take a couple of videos so you could see just how my baby locks were handling the shampoo process. Uh, you don't really see a lot of that. Most people just do a before picture and an after picture, uh, but I wanted you to see just how much unraveling or reversion happens um, that most people don't like to share that. So I didn't actually record the whole shampoo, but if you guys are interested in a beginning to end tutorial of exactly what I'm doing to wash my starter locks, uh, just drop me a comment down below and I will gladly make that video. Um, yeah, most people don't want to share that reversion, so by all means, just let me know what you want and I will make it happen. Here you can see I'm still just trying to pull out a couple of the locks that you can see are budding. Um, and this lighting in my bathroom is terrible. Makes my hand look so yellow. That's terrible. Oh well. Um, but yeah, just trying to show you a couple of the budding locks uh, before we get into the shampoo process. Right here is before putting anything into my hair but water. At this point it was just completely soaked, but I hadn't run anything through it, not even my hands. Uh, this is after the first shampoo. Um, you can see the coils are still holding up very well, much better than the last time I washed. And in this next clip is during the middle of the lather of the second shampoo. And this is what it looks like after all of the shampooing is done. Uh, again, a lot of reversion, but at the same time, the parts are still easy to pick apart. And after putting in the conditioner, went ahead and put on my little disposable shower cap and sat under the dryer to do a deep condition for about, I think I did for about 35, 45 minutes, somewhere around there. I think about 35 minutes. And after that, I hopped in the shower and rinsed out the remaining, um, remaining conditioner that was in my hair. And this is the part next that most people don't show a lot of. And that's the reversion that happens when you wash starter locks or baby locks. Um, some people might say it's just gonna make your hair take longer to lock up, but that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make in order to have clean hair. So for me, it was an easy decision to make, just knowing I have that clean, strong foundation. And here is the finished product. Uh, I got a got my edges lined up and got a good clean shave on also you may notice a slight difference in the parts on my front row i went ahead and had my wife go ahead and make them larger or actually longer to help ensure that my edges have plenty of hair to stay nice and strong so here's the 360 it's my left side and the back and a good view of the top and the right side. Again from the front and another angle of the top. So I wanted to show you all the products that I use to wash and retwist my hair, starting with the lock wash from Damian Walters. And I add to that some Design Essentials Oat Protein and Henna Clarifying Shampoo. After that, I use the Design Essentials Honey Cream Moisture Retention Shampoo. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
and then follow that up with the Design Essentials Rosemary and Mint Stimulating Super Moisturizing Conditioner. This stuff's pretty amazing. Um, after that, it's time to retwist, and I use Damien Walter's Lock and Curl. And when it's all said and done, use some Black Queen olive oil. And last but not least, I use some jojoba oil. I actually mix this inside of my olive oil. And that is pretty much it, guys. Um, thanks again for watching. If you guys like this video or found anything useful, hit the like button. Uh, again, if you want to follow my journey, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. And again, if you guys want to see me make that video of a full video of me washing my hair, showing you the whole process from start to finish, go ahead and leave me a comment down below and I'll make it happen. Um, and that's pretty much all I got. I hope you guys have a great weekend, a great rest of your day, and stay locked. Thank you.